This is the last Town Hall 14 challenge, and that might be literal. Guys, this attack right here is the last attack that Yuta had to do to clutch the World Championship of Clash of Clans. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck, Yuta. This is Good luck, everything. Yuta. This is the World Championship on this attack here. Concentrate, concentrate. Don't let the pressure get to you. He was fighting against Tribe Gaming. The war was tied. He needed a 94% two-star or higher to win the World Championship, to take down Tribe, claim $300,000 and the World Championship. The entire stadium was chanting his name and you cannot imagine the pressure he was under while he had to do this attack. We had the luxury of not being under the kind of pressure and we get multiple attempts. So we can do it a little bit easier and we can definitely take this base down. So the way that he did it is he dropped in a super minion bomb onto the town hall and the inferno onto these battle builders right under it but what we're gonna do is take it down a lot easier than he had to by dropping in the super minion bomb on the top side of the town hall and try to get the queen the cc both of these infernos and the town hall and i'll show you how to do that right here so the first thing you want to do is drop in a haste and there's a lot of scrolling here so if you have the option to go to a double uh, attack bar here then definitely do It'll make it a lot easier um probably should on my ipad here but i'll do it the normal way here for you guys we're gonna drop in a lava hound and then we're gonna drop in a handful of balloons onto all these defenses over here then we'll drop in my warden and then we're gonna drop in a blimp right over here we're gonna pop the ward ability and we're gonna protect the blimp so that it can go all the way in and land right in between all of these infernos so far so good everybody following along as soon as it opens up we drop out the invisibility and then we clone it and we rage it and then we go in with another invisibility and we go after all of these super super high value targets here we got the infernos down we got the town hall down we get the cc destroyed and then we come out of the invisibility and we immediately lock onto the queen and take her down as well look how much of the base is gone now we can go in with a funnel for the heroes we'll drop in a yeti and a wizard on the cannon a baby dragon out in the edge there and then we'll drop in my king to start to work his way in and we will then meet it up with the queen and we will sail into this section of the base here we need to get a valkyrie down we need to get a headhunter down and then we'll get the royal champion to go and assist and we have our poison left over since we didn't use it earlier i'll throw the royal champion down now and i'll pop the king ability to surge his way forward we have the poison here. We'll use it into all these grass skellies, and that'll help us coast through a lot easier than otherwise would be possible. And then we just need to get ready for the Lalo to come in at the bottom here. Now you have four headhunters. They must reach the defensive world champion. So we're gonna drop in the hound, and we'll drop in the balloons, and we'll try to swarm in this area of the base here, and we'll go and drop in all those headhunters, and we immediately need to pop over here and freeze up the scatter shot and this expo here so we can get our way through there. Pop our RC ability, I'll rage up these balloons to get him through we got the road champion down i'll freeze up the sweeper and from there we can coast we can get all the cleanup down we got some cleanup we can toss up in the top side there i can throw two balloons onto this uh geared up archer tower over here and we can just coast our way into the back side of the base we'll throw it in now and then we can just throw in extra balloons wherever we can fit them i'll throw a couple archers in the corner over here and we still have a queen ability attack so that is how you gotta do this guys it is not easy if you're proficient in this attack here and you've done it a bunch of times, then maybe it might be easy. So if you got to do a multiple cast there, then maybe you can pull it off here. But we'll go ahead and pop that queen ability swag. And we did it a little better. We, we're, we're not better than Yuta. <laughs> Let's be real. I was about to claim that we were better than Yuta, but we're not. We're not. Yuta's an absolute monster. But guys, that's how you complete this challenge. I think this is a very, very effective way to get it done. And I want to know how you guys are doing it, if you're doing it any way different. So thanks for watching, guys. And I also want to point out that this being the last Town Hall 14 challenge, last time we had a last challenge was the last Town Hall 13 challenge, and then about a week after it happened, we ended up having a release of Town Hall 14. And we have Hammer Jam going on, and also, last time we had a Hammer Jam was right before Town Hall 14 came out, and we had a Hammer Jam right before Town Hall 13 came out, and we had a Hammer Jam right before Town Hall 12 came out, so I'm just saying, the writing's on the wall. You guys do with that information as you will, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.